yesterday. So F F G G E flat and back to F again. One more time. Now to the beginning of the song, I'm going to start at F, uh, the F yesterday. Yesterday you can hear it, but that's actually the the melody notes are uh, G and F, G F F, right? So we're going to play that right out of the F uh, F chord. And that there, uh, that chord is an E minor seven. So uh, yesterday. And that brings us to the A, which we're, uh, which will give us a melody line. So that would be. So that is uh, again second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, first finger, first fret. So we're going to play A B C sharp D E F E D D. And that last note is a D that is on a D minor of the chord. So it's, again, it's. Last note, that last D is going to be a D minor. So A B C sharp D E F E D D minor chord. Right? So again, we have E minor. Uh, e minor. Now A B C C sharp D E F E D D, but a D minor. Now D C. Now I'm playing your B uh, B flat, uh, and so it's my B flat shape, right? Second uh, th second finger in the third fret of the D string, third finger on the third fret of the G string, pinky finger on the third fret of the B string, and first finger on the first fret of the E string. Now what I'm going to do is play the melody out of that out of that chord shape. That's what I'm after. So I'm after this D D. C B flat A G B flat A A and right under the the B flat chord sounds like this. The last note on the uh, on the A will take me to the F right. So I have so uh, right from the yesterday from the beginning of the song I have. B flat chord back to the F and now oh that's to see I make a bar C play it uh, either way oh I B D minor D minor G G G B flat and F again so Second line is exactly the same, so. The D minor. Now to the C, and D minor again. G, B flat, and back to the F. Now the chorus, E minor. A7. Now you can go D minor, D minor over C, B flat, G minor, C, and F. And that's a lot of chords all at the same time, but you can play them up at the head too, so that so it's not so hard. that a little bit here. So we have E minor 7, that is second uh, second and third fingers on the second fret of the A and D strings respectively, and your 7 comes from the your pinky on the third fret of the uh, of the B string. There's your uh, E minor, now A7, 
That's an easy one. Open A, first finger on the second fret of the D string, second finger on the second fret of the B string. Everybody else is open, right? Don't play your E string. Button. And now uh, D minor, D minor over C, or just a C. Sometimes I just play a C. Now B flat. Now G minor, you can play a couple of different ways. And I, I like this as a sort of a more jazzy way. That is, second finger on the third fret that gives you your root of the one of the a sixth string. And then third finger all the way across the, uh, the four, three, and two strings. That's one way. There's a G minor right there. But here's another one too. That is first finger on the third fret here. That's your root again. And then third and fourth fingers on the fifth fret of the A string and the D string. And your first finger is making a bar. So there's one way, and here's another one, right? And then back to a C. Play that C. Or here. She wouldn't say. E minor 7. I said A7. G minor C, B flat. Now I. A G minor. Long for yesterday. And that sort of the thing that everybody knows, that little lick right there, right? So that will go F to your C, and then to your B flat, and then A. And then play the whole chord. So F, C, B flat, A. So F and C with your first finger, F, C, B flat with your third finger, because it's on the third fret, and the A with your second finger, and then play your, uh, play your G chord. Seven G 